Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Dean from ESC Scott and I'm here to do a running order reaction for you all. So the running orders for the semi-finals are now being revealed. I've just reacted to semi-final one, the running order. It is a very good show, promises to be an amazing, amazing semi-final. But honestly, a lot of people have been talking about the first semi-final being the strongest. I think that is a load of horseshit. I think the second semi-final is the strongest and I'm really excited about it. We've got some heavy hitters in here. We've got Austria, we've got Greece, we've got Switzerland, we've got Armenia, we've got Estonia, we've got Georgia, we've got Norway, we've got Belgium, we've got Netherlands. This is a great semi-final and we're going to be reacting to the running order today. They're revealing it in just a few minutes. So without further ado, let's play the intro. <laughs> Before I react to the running order, I'm just going to give you my predictions. I've done this for semi-final one, so I thought I might as well do it for semi-final two. Here is what I think is going to happen. Obviously, it is it's just a prediction. It's easier to predict the lottery and winning the lottery than getting this exactly right. So it's never going to happen. But I think I might have a few right. I got the first and second uh, in the semi-final one running order right. I got Cyprus and um oh, who's second serbia right i got cyprus and serbia right in the last uh, semi-final so you never know i have austria to open denmark for second and um, i think austria is an amazing opener denmark just seems like a classic song that they'd put in the second place i said that about serbia in the last semi-final so hoping that it's, it works again i put albania in third Italy, one of the big five, and fourth, because the big five and host country are going to be interspersed with the running order this year, something new. Um, they're not going to be competing, and it's going to be kind of clear. They've got, the hosts are probably going to make it quite clear to the viewers that this is a non-competing entry, but they will be performing live. Malta in fifth, Czechia in sixth, Greece seventh, Switzerland eighth. I now think I put Greece and Switzerland together, and I probably shouldn't have done that because they're two favourites, I would say. So I don't think the EBU would put them together. Armenia in 9th, then France, one of the big five in 10th, Estonia 11th, Latvia 12th, Georgia 13th, Norway 14th, Israel 15th, Spain 16th, one of the big five, San Marino in 17th, Belgium 18th, and Netherlands 19th. And now I'm kind of regretting not putting San Marino in 11th because their song is called 11-11. That's kind of stupid of me, but um, I should have done that because that would have been funny. But here we go. Are we ready? I'm not, but I'm, I'm excited. Let's do it. Come on. Right, here we go. Click and play. Three, two, one. Who's going to open this semi-final? I have Austria opening. Don't have Malta open. Don't have Malta open. Don't have Malta open. You evil bastards. <laughs> you evil bastards. Oh, oh, Malta can say, oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. I had Denmark second. If they put Denmark after this. No, Albania. Albania again in second. Are you joking? Wow. Albania always seem to get second, third or fourth if they get drawn in the first half of the semi-final. They either get it in the final or the semi-final. Oh, nightmare. Right, Greece third. I mean, this is going to qualify the way it is. I love this fucking song. I'm sure we're going to have a big five after this. I have Italy after this. There's two very up-tempo songs. They're probably not going to happen. France next, maybe? Is it France? Is it France? No, it's not. It's Switzerland. So I had Greece and Switzerland back to back. I mean, I got that right. I went to heaven back. This is going to qualify no, mayor, no matter where it is. This is one song I'm excited to see live. Oh. Like nice, I just gave it some time. Right, now we're going to have a big five country. I think France. Is it France? France? No. Okay, where are our big five here? Check here. I nearly got that right. I put it six. On a pedestal, I will be there. I love this song. I, I really want this to get through. It's coming after Switzerland and Greece, though. Ouch. Ouch. But we move. I think it has a chance still. This is a strong semi final, though. This isn't, this isn't a strong semi final one, I don't think. I will be loving more. Loving me more. Right, there we go. France is seventh. 
Jejunas. I kind of forget about this song from time to time. I love it, I just forget about it. I forget that it's even competing because I've not listened to it in a long time. Oh, his vocal is awesome. Sublime. He must be sick of this song. He's been promoting this song so much around Europe. And it's actually also a good thing, but God. Austria 6. I thought this would have been a good opener. I would have switched this in Malta. And gave Malta a bit of a chance, you know what I mean? This is going to qualify no matter what. I feel like they've just they've fucked over Malta a little bit there. I don't like this bit. I don't really like this bit of the song, but I will dance to it happily. If I'm in a club and I hear this... Okay, who's next? Who have we got left? Denmark, okay. This gives her a very good chance. Not a very good chance, but it has a better chance of qualifying now. I think this should qualify. Denmark is sending some quality this year. After the last few years, this deserves to qualify. So it's Armenia next, yeah? Yeah. Okay, closing out the first half. This is a video of just me singing the Eurovision songs now. They're gonna have another big five after this, I think. Maybe Italy, Spain? No, they're not. They're gonna put Latvia next. Okay. Just don't disregard what I say. Oh, I love this song. This song is good. It's sweet. It's one of our only male-led ballads this year. I hope it stands a chance with staging. He did say to me that the staging is gonna be different from the national final and it's gonna be impactful, so I'm hoping he has a chance. He's a, such a lovely guy. So lovely. Okay, so Spain's next. So Italy's gonna be performing last out of the big five. I don't love this song. This is the one of the first years in a while that I can remember that I've not really liked Spain. I, even though when they've done kind of badly in the final, I still like their songs. This is one of the first years in a long time I'm not really feeling this from Spain. I love her though, I think she's awesome and she's also got a husband performing with her. I mean, come on, well not performing with her, but he's the DJ, the musical artist. San Marino, they put them in 10th. You could have just waited one and put them in 11th. That's a, what? Why? I'd like to think this has a chance, but it's gonna struggle. I mean, San Marino struggles wherever they are. You can place last and still struggle. Love Megara though. Georgia 11. Okay. I mean, this is good for Georgia. They've not qualified a long time. They're later on in the running order. This could be good for them. I'm hoping she qualifies. It deserves it. They really do deserve it now. Belgium 12. Okay. I put this more towards the end. I mean, this is going to qualify no matter where it is. It's such a good song. It's over. Okay, so who's left? So we've got Estonia, Norway, Israel, and Netherlands. So Netherlands is going to close this, definitely. I'd be surprised if they don't. So is it Italy next, or Norway maybe? Estonia! Okay, Estonian 13. Love this song. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is great for them. Late on in the running order, this is going to be so memorable. Personally, I just love this song. This is so infectious. I want it to qualify. I like to think that it's going to... Um, I think people have slightly forgotten about it. I think it's going to have an impact in the final, uh, semi-final. I hope it gets through. Okay, Italy. Love this song. This can win. I, I actually envision it, this winning. I think we're going back to Italy. Seriously, I do think this has a chance. Total! Hey! Hey, hey. The live performance of this is so much better than the music video. Oh, love it. I love it. Right, Israel 14. Okay, so who have we got left? Norway and Netherlands. It's going to be Norway and Netherlands. I don't think they'll have Netherlands in Norway. Okay. Norway 15th. Okay, that's fine. The cool. Love this. Come on. Give me the vocals. Oh. I'm just, I'm here for this. This is being, this is so underrated. So underrated. I feel like this can win. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps now. This is the only song that gives me goosebumps, genuine goosebumps. Okay, then, not Netherlands. This is obvious. I actually reacted to the live performance of this not too long ago. If you want to go check that out, I'll link it down below in the description so you can go check that out. Very good live performer. So I think that's us. We're done with second semi final, I think. Okay. 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 Okay, so I have the running order in front of me. 
I am devoured about Malta opening. The Busker got second position to death spot last year. They came last in the semi-final. I mean, they just cannot catch a break with this running order. I'm so devoured. It doesn't ruin her chances. It just makes me highly doubtful that this can get through. I love her. Love the song. The revamp helped this so much. It's just, ah. Don't like it. Don't like that it's been placed first. I feel like they could have easily just swapped her and um, Austria, and Austria would have qualified anyway, and it's still a great opener. Then Albania second, I mean Albania always seem to get second, whether it's semi-final or the final, they always seem to be placed in the second uh, place in the running order if they get first half. I'm not surprised. I actually did mention this in my um, Albania revamp reaction. I, I said it, I knew that it was going to get placed second. Greece third, Switzerland fourth, they're going to qualify no matter what, they're just two amazing songs. Czechia and fifth having to follow them two is hard for Aiko. It's really hard, but um, I think she has a chance to get through. It doesn't hinder her any. I don't think this, this has helped her or hindered her. Then France has been placed in between Czechia and Austria. Then Austria and sixth this is going to qualify. Seventh for Denmark. I mean, Denmark has to make it through. To, for their own sake, for the for the broadcaster's sake, they have to make it through with this song. Armenia in 8th, they're going to qualify. Latvia in ninth, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Spain in between Latvia and San Marino. I mean, if Spain was competing, this would be so good for them because they're placed in between two kind of iffy songs with the public. So I'm obviously they're not, but I'm just pointing that out. San Marino in 10th. I mean, the EBU missed an opportunity to put San Marino 11th. Just swap Georgia and San Marino around. San Marino's song is called 11-11. Georgia in 11th. This is good for them. Late on in the well, middle in the running order. Georgia, sh I mean, Georgia was in middle of the running order last year and they still didn't make it through. I'm hoping this year, with a better song, this is a really good song. This is a better song than last year and the year before and the past few years for Georgia. This can get through, surely. Surely George's luck isn't that bad. Belgium in 12th, doesn't matter where they were, they're going to qualify. Estonia in 13th, I think this is going to qualify. Italy slotted in between Israel and Estonia. It doesn't really matter where Italy performs, people are still going to be dancing to La Noia. Israel in 14th, yeah, this helps her a little bit, I think. I think this um, has a better chance now. Norway in 15th, this is going to qualify. The last, I think the last five in the running order are definitely qualifying. Belgium, Estonia, Israel, Norway and Netherlands. I think they're all going to qualify, to be honest. It's just kind of a battle between first to 11th, who, who's going to be the last five to get through. Switzerland and Greece are definitely probably going to make it. And then two, and Austria and Armenia and Denmark probably. Oh, Malta. Oh, Malta. Every time I look at this, I'm just going to think, Malta, the EBU are bastards. But yeah, that is what I think about the second semi-final running order. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. Who do you think is helped with this running order? Who do you think has been hindered with this running order? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, reactions like this. We've got lots of content coming in the next few weeks on the lead up to Malmo 2024. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you then and bye-bye.